Assalamu alaikum hello and warm welcome to all of you dear students today i am here with the second part of civic chapter chapter number 5 working of institution in the first part of the chapter we had discussed that <coughs> vp singh government pass official memorandum on august 13 1990 regarding 27 percent reservation to sebc socially and educationally backward class people when government passed the order people and institution across the country across the country strongly oppose 27% reservation for sebc many people file petition against the decision of government in supreme court of india as you know that supreme court and high court in india settle dispute arising out of government decisions number of people file cases in the courts they appeal to the courts to declare the order invalid and stop the implementation of the order the supreme court of india bunch all these cases together this case was known as indira soni and others versus Union of India case. Eleven judges of the Supreme Court heard argument of both sides. By the majority of the Supreme Court judges in 1992, declared that this order of the government of India was valid. At the same time, Supreme Court asked the government. to modify original order so this way the order to provide 27% reservation to sebc was passed and implemented by government of india now here the question is which institutions are taking the decision regarding the implementation of such order so parliament president and prime ministers are responsible for taking decision and implementation of the order here the major question is why do we need political institution we need political institution to ensure security to the citizen of the country even to provide facilities like education welfare health to the citizen of the country these institution collect taxes and spend money for the administration 
for the defense and for the development program for the country these institution formulate and implement several welfare scheme for the citizen of the country some people are taking decision on how to go about these activities and others have to implement these decisions so to attend to all these tasks all these functions several ns arrangements are made in all modern democracies for the completion of these functions completion of this work arrangements are made in modern democracies such arrangements are called institution such arrangement to perform several functions arrangements are made in democracies and these arrangements are known as institution democracy work well when these institution perform the functions assigned to them the constitution of any country lays down basic rules on the powers and function of each institution constitution put limit on the powers and functions of in, uh, each institution in democracy we have seen in above example prime minister cabinet are the institution and they are taking important policy decisions the civil servants working together are responsible for implementation of ministry decision and supreme court is an institution where dispute between citizen and the government arise they settle these disputes so here you have to keep in mind prime minister civil servants supreme court parliament these are the institution which are working for the betterment of democracy so today i would like to discuss parliament as an important institution for the betterment of democracy dear students in all democracy an assembly of elected representative exercise supreme political authority on behalf of the people in india such national assembly of elected representative is called parliament at the state level this is called legislative assembly so here my question to you is that why do we need parliament friends we need parliament because it is the final authority for making laws in any country the task of law making is very important so that is why parliament is important institution of democracy so first point is that why do we need parliament so we need parliament because it is the fi- final authority for making changing or abolishing laws 
Parliament has power to make new law. Parliament has power to modify, to change the law. And even Parliament has power to abolish existing law. Number two. Why do we need Parliament? Number two. Parliament all over the world exercise some control over those who run the government. So we can say that we need Parliament to guide and for the complete control over the government. Those who take the decision, they can take decision as long as they enjoy support of the parliament. Without the support, majority support of parliament member, government is not in position to take any decision. Number three, we need parliament because it controls and manages all the money that government have. In most of the countries, the public money can be spent only when the parliament sanctions it, when parliament permits it. So we need parliament to control all the money that government have. Means we need parliament to stop the misuse of government money. Because government cannot use the money without the permission of parliament. Number four. We need parliament because it is the highest form of discussion and debate on public issues and national policy in any country. It is the place for the discussion and debate over public issues and national policy. And when majority members are agree to that issue or policy, government in position to take the decision. Now, in India, there are two houses of parliament. Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Lok Sabha is the lower house of the parliament, while <coughs> Rajya Sabha is upper house of the parliament. In next lecture, we will discuss about the two houses of parliament in detail. So here, I would like to conclude my today's lecture. Thank you very much for your support. Allah Hafiz.